We're monitoring a growing brush fire in Waianae Valley. Firefighters say the blaze is no longer threatening homes, but they've got a lot of work ahead of them tonight. It started around 7 o'clock, and HFD says they're dealing with two challenging factors. Alexander Zanes is at the scene of the brush fire with the latest. Alexander? Yeah, Joe, the fire has been going strong since just after 7 o'clock. We'll try to get you a live picture. Just behind me, you can see the blaze still burning. The fire is not contained at this time, and it's been periodically burning higher and higher than dying down because of the wind and lack of water. Those are the two factors that firefighters are really battling tonight. Again, just started after 7 o'clock. It's near the back of the Waianae Valley. Originally, the fire was said to be 30 acres, but it's significantly larger than that, that, that now. I told, uh, I'm told some Residents self evacuated their homes, but no homes are in danger at this time. It's on the Makaha side of Waianae Valley Road, making its way toward Angel's Junkyard. There's a ranch up the road near the fire, and we spoke with someone coming to help. Uh, we do know that the fire started at the Cultural Learning Center. Uh, it's on the Makaha side of the Waianae Valley Road and above an area known as Angel's Towing Junkyard. It's a big fire, but the wind is blowing towards Mauka. Of the coal house, so not too bad. It's not blowing towards the house. I don't know how it was earlier. As I got here, they, they ain't letting nobody in, no matter what. Again, the, uh, the fire still a good distance away from any structures, but we'll get more on that obviously tomorrow if any structures are threatened. No structures damaged at this point. The fire still burning strong, access to water, and the wind, the gust still burning here, but like I said, no structures threatened at this time. Reporting live in Waianae, Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News.